Hi everyone, I'm Greta with Chattahoochee Valley Libraries. Welcome to another virtual story time. Today I'm in the Columbus Public Library story time room and I've selected two books to share with you. They both are similar and you might get a guess from the books I have beside me about what they're going to be. Do you see anything the same about these books beside me? What about this one? And the fact that I have the big bad wolf here. Hmm. Does this give you a clue? Well, today I'm going to read the original Little Red Riding Hood. And then we're going to read a cool version that has a twist. You take an original fairy tale and you change it up a little bit and make it really fun and interesting. So, before we get started, let's review the five simple steps. Maybe our wolf could sing them, but we're going to need to use my fingers. Now, here at the library, we're always talking about the simple steps that will help you grow your brain and be ready for school. And they're talk, sing, read, write, and play. And to remember them, we sing a song. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Do it every day. Remember those are the five simple steps and let's get started on the first one, which is read. Inside this cool book are eight fairy tales. We're just going to read one, Little Red Riding Hood. So you'll know the original story before I tell you the one with the twist. Ready? The version of Little Red Riding Hood that I'll read today is from this collection by Lucy Cousins. It's called Yummy and it has eight favorite fairy tales. I like the way she makes her versions simple and quick so we can learn the original story. Here it is, Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood. Her mother asked her to take a basket of food through the woods to her grandmother, who was ill. Do you see her mother there? She's saying, goodbye, Little Red. Well, Little Red Riding Hood had not gone far when she met a wolf. Where are you going, Little Red Riding Hood? The wolf asked. I'm taking a basket of food to my grandmother because she's ill, answered Little Red Riding Hood. Is that so, said the wolf with a nasty grin. And away he ran. I wonder where he's going. Well, the wolf ran straight to grandmother's house and he knocked at the door. Knock, knock. Who's there, called grandmother. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf in a sweet little voice. I've brought you a basket of food. Come in then, said Grandmother. He fooled Grandmother, didn't he? She thinks it's Little Red. Well, gulp! The wolf went in, leaped onto Grandmother's bed, and swallowed her whole. Oh my goodness, clothes and all. After a while, Little Red Riding Hood arrived. She walked into the house and went over to the bed. Grandmother, what big eyes you have, she said. All the better to see you with, my dear, replied the wolf. Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. That wolf, he's pretending to be grandmother. Then Little Red said, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear. And with that, the wolf leaped out of the bed and gobbled up Little Red Riding Hood. Oh my gracious. Well, a hunter was passing by and heard the noise, he came in and saw the wicked wolf. He chopped the wolf open and out stepped Grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood. Hooray, they cried. 
Then they ate up the food in the basket and lived happily ever after. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very quick version of the original Little Red Riding Hood. You can see from the books here behind me that there are authors that take that original tale and tell it in all kinds of fun, interesting, sometimes really silly ways. One of my favorites does not have a big bad wolf. Instead, it has, oh, what's that? Do you know? It's a roar, a lion, that's right. The next book I'm going to read to you is a twist on Little Red Riding Hood. It's called Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion by Alex T. Smith. Let's read it. Now for a version of Little Red Riding Hood with a safari twist called Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion by Alex T. Smith. This is Little Red. Today she's going to be gobbled up by a lion. This is the lion. Well, that's what he thinks is going to happen anyway. Do you think she'll be gobbled up? Let's find out. One hot morning, Auntie Rosie woke up covered in spots. There was only one thing for them, spot medicine. Ring, 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 ring. Oh dear, oh dear, said Little Red when she heard the news. I'll come right away. So Little Red put some spot medicine into her basket and waved goodbye to her daddy. You see, she doesn't live in the forest. She lives in the jungle. And it was a long way to Auntie Rosie's house. Little Red walked under the giraffes and then over the sleepy crocodiles and then <gasps> past the chattering monkeys. She crept around the termite mounds and under the leaping gazelles and then she got a ride on an elephant. She wiggled her way around the hippos and the warthogs and she waved hello to the meerkats. Then she sat down in the shade of a shady tree. And that's when the lion arrived. The very hungry lion. Oh, hello, purred the lion. Where are you going? To visit my auntie who's covered in spots, said Little Red. In the time it took for his tummy to rumble, the very hungry lion had cooked up a very naughty plan. Oh, here's his plan. He's thinking about it. My very clever plan. Number one, sneak off to Auntie Rosie's house. Number two, hide in her cabinet. Number three, dress up as Auntie Rosie. Number four, wait for a bit. Jump up and eat, Little Red. Eat Auntie Rosie for dessert. Oh, what a very clever lion. Well done. Well, he rushed off to put his plan into action. When he arrived, the very hungry lion stuffed Auntie Rosie into a cabinet and locked the door. Then... He squeezed himself into one of her nightgowns and covered himself all over in spots. Do you think he's going to fool Little Red? Let's see. Of course, when Little Red arrived, she realized right away it wasn't Auntie Rosie sitting in the bed. She quickly looked around and spotted her auntie peeking through a gap in the cabinet. Oh! <gasps> Then Little Red decided that she was going to teach the naughty lion a lesson. I wonder how she'll do that. Hmm. Oh dear, cried Little Red, what tangled hair you have. 
And before the very hungry lion could even lick his lips, Little Red had brushed and combed and twisted and braided until the lion had a lovely new look. That had not been part of the lion's plan. So, he looks really unhappy, doesn't he? Look how proud she is. Oh, disgusting! He opened his mouth wide. Little Red could see what gigantic, grimy teeth you have, Auntie. Ooh, do you see? Disgusting. Little Red made the very hungry lion brush, brush, brush his teeth until they sparkled. Oh, Auntie, sighed Little Red, what an old nightgown you're wearing. And before the very hungry lion knew it, Little Red had found a much prettier dress for him to wear. This had not been part of the lion's plan either. He's really looking unhappy now. <laughs> Stop! yelled the lion. I'm a very hungry lion and my tummy is grumbling! <gasps> Scared. Little Red pointed her finger. Well, trying to eat children and aunties is very naughty. If you were hungry, all you had to do was ask for some food. The very hungry lion let Auntie Rosie out of the cabinet and he said, sorry, ever so politely. Little Red gave Auntie Rosie the spot medicine, which worked immediately. Then the three of them gobbled up a whole basket of donuts together. The lion had five. Soon it was beginning to get dark. So the lion walked all the way back home with Little Red on his very best behavior. He promised never, ever, ever to try to eat another auntie or any children. But he might be tempted to eat Daddy. No, bad kitty. <gasps> the end. Go to cvlga.org and search our catalog for all kinds of fun books about Little Red Riding Hood or any other favorite fairy tale you may have. And remember, sign up for our summer reading program and keep reading. See you next time. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.